we are at a, at a very critical point. In order for us to reverse these trends, we need to think differently, as was said. And certainly from our point of view as FAO, we are taking this seriously. We will reflect how can we do what we do differently and how can we collectively, working together with the governments, with other development players, humanitarian actors, what is it that we can do differently so that the trend reverses? Because it's really sobering to see those figures up there. Thank you. Five percent of globally fully secure population are found in this region. The report obviously highlights, you know, each IGAD country is grappling with uh, severe challenges in food security, environment protection, and economic stability. Although the extent of this challenge varies from one country to another. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the key drivers of food insecurity continue to be conflict, climate change, and also economic stability. But the key that are really difficult to fix by this audience are the conflict and the climate change. So until this conflict, these two key drivers are addressed, please don't lose hope. And please don't stop supporting those who need the support. The situation in Sudan is very dire. When I talk, when IGAD, when our executive secretary talks to uh, policymakers, especially envoys from the rich countries, we tell them it would be a tragedy if all the resources, uh, we, you remember the Paris conference where actually billions were pledged for Sudan, with all the goodwill, with all the technical people, with all the agencies, we cannot get to the people who need these services. Access, humanitarian access to Sudan, especially Western Sudan through Darfur, is a big concern. We call upon all players, all actors, all people of good faith, of goodwill, to work to make sure that humanitarian access is facilitated.